And now we're gonna look at the flat, flat breaststroke, which is the first modern breaststroke. Also is known sometimes as a common breaststroke. It's the most commonly used even today. This is what they normally teach uh, swimmers that are be, uh, coming into it, and they should. That's a good structural point where you can now, once you have that solid and it's, and it's stabilized and all framed up, you can now start to build out into the other breaststrokes. Right? The unique attributes, um, the baseline stroke for all other modern breaststrokes is this one. Okay, It requires significant muscular strength to perform at high levels. You can see that the, the pull pattern here is what's called a closed bell, right? It looks a little bit like a bell here or a heart shape. And then we close that bell like this, okay? And down here, you can see right in here, it closes up the bell underneath the xiphoid like this. The head, right, you're maintaining, right? So it's close to the surface, the chin. So when you're breathing, you don't bring the chin way up. You're going to stay down low and everything stays flat, which is why they call it the flat breaststroke or breaststroke. The torso position is low to the water. Again, you don't come way up. You stay low to the water in this position and you're using the whip kick. That's the leg pattern. You can see that here and that's the basic pattern of that.